Hi everyone, welcome back to our second set of vocabulary for our uh, book, Judy Moody Was in a Mood. I hope that you enjoyed the first three chapters. Um, now we're gonna be talking about words that we'll see in chapters four through six, so four, five, six. Chapter four is called My Favorite Pet. Hmm, do you have a favorite pet at home? Chapter five is called My Smelly Pet. Does your pet ever do anything that's smelly? I know mine does. He's kind of crazy. Uh, and chapter six is called Dr. Judy Moody. Can you imagine now that you've met Doc, uh, Judy Moody as a character, can you imagine her as a doctor? I don't know. If she showed up as my doctor, I might be a little bit worried. But let's get started with our words here. That's your little preview of the chapter. Here are your words. The first word is definitely. So um, remember, as we're learning these words this week, that we are going to be able to use them and practice them, and then we'll check your understanding of them at the end of the week. So make sure you are giving me your full attention here. So definitely. Have you ever been like, yes, mom, I will definitely make my bed today. Oh, there's an example. What do you think it means? Definitely means for certain or without doubt. So that means, Mom, I will certainly make my bed today. Oh, will you? So definitely means, yes, without a doubt, I will do that. So it's like a very strong yes is definitely. Think of a thumbs up, really big, maybe double thumbs up. Then we have the word angle. Hmm. What do you think from that picture? This is fun because this is a math word. Hmm. An angle is a slanted line. So when that comes down and then it bends and goes the other way, that, that part, the bending of that line, however it bends, is an angle. So we see angles where like the floor goes like this and then the wall comes up. And then we have another angle on it over here. So an angle is a slanted line. So we're um, thinking about math with that one. I wonder where she'll use that. Cures. Hmm, look at the, all those medical pictures. What do you think the word cure means? Hmm. A cure is something that makes you feel better when you're sick. I hope that none of you are sick right now, but if you are, I hope that somebody can help you to feel better. I hope somebody can find you a cure to feel better. So a cure is something that makes you feel better when you are sick. Our next word is collapsing. Oh man, that looks like a mess in that picture. Um, if something is collapsing, what do you think that means? Those Legos, that must have been a really big Lego tower. And now it's collapsing. Have you built with Legos over this time? Hmm. Collapsing means when something is falling down. That would have been a really big tower that's falling down in that picture. What a mess. But it means that something is falling down. Our next word is digesting. Hmm, that food is in a stomach. Hmm, what does that mean? That food is in that stomach. That food is digesting. Probably not with the cardboard parts of the cup and the straw, but we get the point from the picture. Digesting means when the stomach breaks down food. So every time that you eat something, it goes into your stomach. And when it's in your stomach, your stomach, it has things in it that help to break down that food even more so that your body can absorb what it needs. So digesting is when your stomach is breaking down the food. What kind of food is going to be digested in this? Oh, we'll have to see. Endangered. It says, help us and then it has pictures of different animals a monarch butterfly do you like any of those animals on there what if those animals are endangered what does that mean endangered means it's being at risk it to be at risk of going extinct 
that means that they those animals they see that the number of them is decreasing and so those animals are at risk of being extinct which means that they could be gone forever so if they're endangered we want to help them and help that population rise more. So we want there to be more of them. We work to help those animals more in the environment. Um, so endangered means that they're at risk or to be at risk of going extinct. So those animals are at risk of not being around anymore. How sad would that be? All right, and that was the last word for this set. So. Um, your teacher has assigned you some practice that you can do for these words this week. And then at the end of the week, you'll take a little quiz again about these words. But uh, don't take that until after we read the chapters, because reading the chapters might help you with those words. So good luck, everybody.